um, recently, before we took a break, we talked about you going into football on a scholarship. Right. Right. Let the people know. I'm not going to say how many colleges are recruiting you, because mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure there was a lot. But I heard that you have already committed to a school. Am I correct? Yes, or? yes. Yeah, I've actually uh, committed about a month and a half ago to Duke University in North Carolina. Mm, that's yeah, sad. I've got offers Multi -talented. from Yeah, I've got offers from Harvard, uh, Tulane, Vanderbilt, Kentucky, Maryland, um, Ole Miss. Yeah, it was just name a couple. All football wise. Right, yeah, just football. They all want you to right. okay. Definitely. And see this is what we're talking about, you know, he started from eight acting, modeling and still get no scholarship. I mean, these are big, big schools that he's getting these offers from, so you can definitely do it, do it all, keep your grades up, play your sports. I mean, this is an example of what we're trying to tell you, that stay, you know, stick with it, stay in school, and do your thing. So actually now, so you made that commitment. Are you excited about that? What do you feel? Yeah. How do your parents feel about that? Oh, my parents love it. Um, actually, I had to, of course, I had to talk to my parents before I committed, and we just sat down one day and just broke down our pros and cons and, and why I should go to Duke. And I mean, Duke is just, it's, it's it, they call it the, you know, Ivy League, of course, the Harvard of the South. Right. And uh, of course, I want to stay home. And I just, I love North Carolina as a state. Okay. Okay. You know, it's, it's, it's just a great chance for me there, football-wise, and of course, a degree from Duke. I mean, that that's just a great that's degree. A so, yeah. yeah. So how do you plan on juggling? Football scholarship, mm -hmm. acting career, right. teenage heartthrob. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard that's, you know, in Seventeen Magazine, in, in case you guys don't know, he was pegged as what, the, the next, the next biggest teenage crush. Biggest, biggest crush. Right. So how are you planning on juggling that? That's a lot yeah, for a young yeah, man. Um, that's a lot to juggle. got bodyguards out the door holding them back. <laughs> you know, out there. They got to yeah. cool it down a little, but, you know, that's a big deal. Yeah. I mean, um, you're smart, you're talented, you're handsome, you know, you. the full, full package, ladies. Let's give him 15 years from now, okay? <laughs> Let him do his thing first, but go ahead right. and tell us about that experience. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely humbled. But um, it looks like for now, of course, I have a football scholarship to Duke, not an acting scholarship. So I'm going to go to Duke, and, and, um, and hopefully I'll do my four years there, you know, playing football hard. Um, I'll be straight on football, and, and we'll see after. I mean, after Duke, we'll see if, I, if, I'm, if I'm blessed enough to make it in the NFL or if I choose mm -hmm. to, you know, move to L.A. and become an actor. And I, mean, I also love journalism. That's, that's what I'm looking like. I'm going okay. to major in. So we'll see. If, I got three ways I can go, you know, football, acting, or sports journalism. So we'll see. Definitely. Yeah. You definitely leave that mind open right. for other things and certain things to fall back on. So are you going to, like, cool down on the modern acting career when you go to Duke? I mean, but that's a big deal when you're playing football in the college. That takes all your time, actually. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And it's a, it's a full-time job. Actually, in Division One football, you're not even allowed to have a job because, you know, it's always working out, always, you know, studying the playbook. Right, right. And on top of that, you also have to maintain your grades. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to have to slow down acting modeling-wise, but, um, yeah, what'd you have to say? That's cool. Yeah. We appreciate that. And definitely sticking with it, being from the A, <laughs> the dirty, dirty, the dirty, dirty, you know what I'm saying? But definitely, you know, what advice would you give the kids out there? I mean, you're doing it, you're in high school, you started at A. Doing the modeling, doing the acting, doing you know the sports. What advice do you give them? Because that's pretty hard. Right. Yeah, well, really, you just have to learn that in the business, you're always going to be told no. I mean, if I can just count how many auditions I went on that I was told no, I, I mean, I just can't count. Like it's so many, and um, I mean, every day you're just told different things about you. Like, oh, you can't do this right. You're not tall enough. You're not big enough. You're not small enough. And really just kids at a young age you're gonna get discouraged. Like I, I even got discouraged and there was a, a time in my life where I actually went to my parents. Okay. And I was like, guys, like I'm I'm overwhelmed. Like just acting, I'm not getting any parts, I'm memorizing lines, studying lines, right. and I'm not going anywhere. And okay. they're actually the ones that kept me in it. You know, so kids out there just just gotta stay focused. And if you have a passion towards acting, just stay with it and don't give up because that's how we have the Denzel Washingtons and the Leonardos okay. and all those great actors. So. Well, definitely hold that thought because I want to come back and for you to give them more advice. My name is Del CD. Don't forget to follow us on ASV TV Network on Twitter, www.atl4-sports vision. We'll be right back. I'm Del CD. This is Jazz, and we got the lovely Chris in the studio. We'll be right back.